Merry Christmas YouTube fam, Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Guys, I'm getting ready to head out with my dad and my bro. It is a glorious morning. We are going to do a little catch and smoke video today, but today's video is inspired from my good friend Tyler. Tyler texted me up the other day and was like, bro, I've got an epic idea. You need to soak a trout in an eggnog brine in the spirit of the Christmas season. And it absolutely sounds disgusting, but apparently people have done it before. So you know what, Tyler, this one's for you. We're gonna go throw it down. Look at this, super slippery. This is what I'm gonna be fishing. That's a big one. Shoot, it's a really nice one. Yeah! Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! We are going to be smoking some holiday fish this afternoon! Woohoo! Oh, he ate that thing. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful trout. Woohoo! There's one. I need one more. Let's go see if there's another one in there. Let's give that a try. Got him. Another one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woohoo. Got to get him in. Yeah. Bring him up. Yeah. Look at that. Another beauty. All right. We have our two trout. This one's a good 12 and a half, close to 13 inches. Not quite as big as the last one, but we've got our smoked fish, man. Let's go get our smoker going. But let's get these bad boys cleaned up and we'll get to eating. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to me, bro. You just catch a coal over there? Is that what's going on? Guys, I'm gonna go get these babies prepped and ready, get my smoker going. Hopefully, bro, he'll be joining me soon. Um, if you need any pointers, though, I'm, I'm feel free to ask, because I, I know this lake real well, this river, and uh, obviously, I, I can get the goods out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get going. Check it out. Both trout beautifully butterflied out. Did not fillet them, so the bones are still in there, but if I can smoke them correctly, all that meat will just peel right off those bones and you actually be able to peel that whole rib cage right out. But those are two beautiful looking trout. That meat is a nice pink tint to it. Let's get these in our brine. All right, so time to make the brine. Obviously for the eggnog brine, we're just gonna do dairy gold eggnog, which is the best. We're also gonna throw a little ground nutmeg in there. Obviously it's not complete with cinnamon. And then dash of salt. And then for the PS de resistance, a little cane sugar. For my other trout, I'm going to do maple syrup. That's pure maple syrup as well. None of that, you know, Mrs. Butterworth stuff. And then a little brown sugar as well. So that's our ingredients for our two smoked trout today. For some salt, just a splash of cinnamon, pinch of nutmeg, some brown sugar, star of the show, eggnog and lots of it there we go so in this bag this is what i'm going to actually put my uh, maple syrup mixture in so first we're going to do a little pepper a little salt as well of the brown sugar we're going to go quite a bit of brown sugar in this bad boy there we go our pure maple syrup and lots of it. Mix it up all nice. Tyler, this is for you. Here they go. Heading into a nice Merry Christmas eggnog bath. Gotta get them all 
settled in there. Both pieces of meat dunked well in that eggnog. Now we're gonna put the lid on, let them sit for a good hour and a half, two hours. Our next filet is the bigger trout. He's gonna head right into our bag here of our maple syrup. I want that maple syrup all over the meat in there. All right, those fillets in there, all surrounded and sitting in that nice maple and brown sugar brine. Now we, all we gotta do is wait. So next I'm gonna get my smoker made. I've picked this spot right in here, kind of a nice little chimney area. Uh, I'm gonna pile up my rocks along the outside, kind of build it up a little bit, then put some little saplings over the top. We're gonna go cut some little saplings down and uh, some green grasses and just got a nice little cubby here going. Um, I've got my uh, burning cherry wood here, which is gonna I'm gonna use for smoking. Get a nice little Burma embers built up and uh, it's gonna be Merry Christmas, man. We're gonna cook up some trout for Santa. All right, so I got the nice little chimney effect going here. Got the rocks built up a bit on either side. Now let's get our fire going. Smoking wood on here. Get this burned down. This stuff should burn real nice. Then I've got a little bit, little bit uh, wetter wood for when it comes time for smoking. That hasn't cured as much, uh, so we'll throw that on um, after a little bit here. Check this out, the old man. Look at that. What'd you catch him on, Pops? Uh, Dry Creek Outfitter Slicker Shad. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking That's bait beautiful right there. Bait, yeah. That's a beautiful looking trout. That's a good 14 inches probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is fantastic. That'll taste good. Yes, Are you out fishing Ace as well? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you know what? He's got you know, a little time to catch him. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta give him a hard time. So I gotta cut down some of these saplings so I can build my smoker. And this time I brought my machete. This is Gerber brand and I absolutely love this bad boy. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Go get yourself one of these. Something like this, an axe, a hatchet, whatever. Do yourself a favor, get one of these. These are fantastic to have while you're out in the wild. Cutting through these saplings. Butter, man. Check that out. Also could come in real handy if you get bum rushed by a mountain lion or a grizzly bear enter into a little hand-to-hand -hand combat, go full Davy Crockett. Just really awesome to have. Awesome. All right guys, fish are in the brine. My little smoker is done. Done build them, looks really good. And uh, my, my cherry wood's burning down now. So I've got about an hour and a half before I'm gonna put those fish over the smoker. So I think it is time to get a couple sturgeon lines out. Let's see if we can get lucky and get us a, a behemoth. Anchors away. Ace is getting the big rod ready here. Dude, look at that behemoth. How tall is that? 12 feet, oh, 13 feet. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, don't don't jip me a foot there. Oh, that's awesome. That's some serious sturgeon rod. That is serious sturgeon fishing right there. All right, it's been about two hours. This is gonna be real sticky. This is our first one. I'm not gonna rinse these guys off since I want as much flavor on there as possible. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna get him in there. 
trout number one is set. And our eggnog trout. I don't know, guys. Tyler, this one's for you, brother. Ace is getting a bite. I got one. You got him? Ace is on a sturgeon! Whoa, dude! Dude, this is a nice one, too. Look at that rod! <laughs> Look at your 13-foot rod! Oh, I probably should bring mine in, huh, just in case. Do we need to strap you in? Yeah, I need to my sharks. Where? <laughs> oh, wow. That is a long butted rod there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that live action shot. Look at the intensity on that face. Look at that. That's intense. Huh? Ah, that's what I like. Oh, there she dude. is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about? Wait, you want to grab her? Uh, no, I better let you grab her. Look at that. Hold on, what do you want me to do? Let me Look at this! Whoa! Oh, fish. Look at that! Woo, oh, dog, oh, baby! Man. This is one. Uh, this is my biggest river sturgeon ever. Woo. <sighs> wow! Oh, dude! On that trout head, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on that trout head. Uh huh. Look at that. Okay, you want me to measure with the rod, dude? Look at that. Ah. Look at that fish. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm gonna That's let this go. Let that girl go. Go over. She leaves too. What? <laughs> Nicely done. That was a team ever, bro. Yes, it was. Are you kidding me? Dude, nice bonus fish. I gotta get me one now, dang it. Let's check out what my brother's doing here for his cooking. Whoa, look at that. Bro, is that your hot wing sauce right there? That is, it's a hot trout. A hot trout. I use it be tasty. Wow. Dude, I'm pretty sure that's burning my eyes. Holy man. <laughs> between our eggnog trout, uh, maple and brown sugar trout, and hot wing trout. Dude. We've I, got everything. We, we've, we're running the whole gamut. The only <laughs> thing we need is like a, well, no, your hot wings are the appetizer. We just need, uh, I don't know, a beer batter trout, I guess, for, mm -hmm. the, for the drink. All right, moment of truth. Get these bad boys out. It's been a couple hours. Ooh, there's the first one. That's the eggnog. Here's our maple and brown sugar. Oh boy. All right. Here is our eggnog trout. Tyler, this is for you. Smoked. Try this piece here. But look at that. Nice and smoked. Ooh, look at that piece right there. Eggnog trout. Okay, on that bite I got a little eggnog. It's really, because it's like a milky base, it's really like dumbed down the fishy flavor. I, I wouldn't be able to tell this was trout. Usually trout has a distinct flavor. I'm getting a little of the cinnamon picking out bones but very little eggnog flavor actually and I don't know if that's because this is my first time with a wet brine maybe I needed to soak it longer maybe it tastes like like every once in a while I get a little cinnamon a little eggnog but it just tastes like fish and no distinct flavor of fish interesting Ooh, look at that right there this is our maple and brown sugar trout. Looks real good. Again, it doesn't have that crust like the dry brine does. Oh, I can smell the maple on that. Let's go here. Woohoo! Oh yeah. I'm getting maple there. Mmm. That flavor jumps out way more. That's actually really powerful. Maple 
maple glaze on that trout. That maple is almost like tenderized to the meat too. So it's cooked through, but it's almost like the meat's like tender. It's almost like made it more tender. Maybe that's the maybe that's the um, the brown sugar. Basically, tastes like a sweet trout, which is fine. So the eggnog was nothing much, but the maple and brown sugar trout is like bam. That is just a face full of flavor. Dude, final verdict on eggnog trout, don't do it, don't do it. You know what, eggnog 11 months out of the year is obsolete. Let him have his one month by himself. He does not need to be mixed with any kind of protein in my opinion. And honestly, dude, when you're enjoying a nice trout, I think eggnog's the last beverage you're reaching for. <laughs> I think so. To, to enjoy said trout with. Uh -huh. So you know what, guys? Don't do the trout a disservice either. Cook it up with some of, go hot wing style. But, but the eggnog style, nah, nah, not worth it, not worth it. Eggnog trout has to be soaked longer. The maple and brown sugar though, that's not bad. If you're craving some sweet trout, I don't know when you'd be craving sweet trout, but whatever. If you want some sweet trout, maple and brown sugar, fantastic recipe. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. We will catch you in the next video. And my smoker's about ready to get on fire, so I probably should go tend to that. So guys, thanks so much.